Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. I'm so excited y'all are joining me today because I am doing my first ever pearl cell pour painting um, with colored pearl paints that I mixed with untinted satin enamel. Don't worry, I'll have all of the recipes listed down below. And I actually learned this technique from one of my good friends and mentor, Tara from Pieces of Tara Artistry. She is simply amazing, so go check her channel out. I will have it linked down below in the description box. And she is teaching this pearl cell technique along with the pearl cell Dutch pour combo technique at PourCon, which is the largest fluid art convention being held in Las Vegas from August 6th through the 9th. I know tickets are sold out, but there are some tickets available from people who unfortunately cannot make the event. So definitely contact Billy Gara or uh, Lanny Carraway um, to inquire about that. So if you really want your fluid art journey to grow and you want to learn different techniques, why not join PourCon? So definitely check PourCon.com out. I will have that link down below as well. And without further ado, let's get started on my pearl cell pour painting. Today I am using an 18 by 24 inch level 3 gallery wrapped canvas and I have attached my hands off handles on them. They are amazing for uh, tilting, especially for pearl cells and deconstructed blooms. I don't know if the lady is still selling them, but I will still link the Amazon link below. Um, and I have painted my edges with Amsterdam Red Violet because the paints are so thin with the pearl cell technique, uh, the canvas will show. So that's why I painted them. Um, next are my colors. I'm using all golden fluids. So my first color is Indian Yellow Hue. It is a transparent. All of these colors are mixed with satin enamel and they are pretty fluid. So the colors are mixed with two parts, bare 7300 untinted satin enamel to three parts Floetrol, half part uh, paint, the fluid paint, and one and a half parts of the golden gloss color pouring medium. If you're using two paint, then add one part paint. Uh, my next color is Vat Orange. It is a semi-opaque. Really love this orange. I haven't used it much, so I definitely wanted to use it in this pearl cell pour. And as I mentioned before, see how fluid my paint is. I believe Tara adds water to these to make them thinner, but I didn't um, because I wanted to see how it would react. So my next color is quinacridone red. Again, a very beautiful red color. It's one of my favorites after Amsterdam Carmine, and this will be followed by quinacridone magenta. Any a quinacridone color in the quinacridone line is just simply gorgeous. Um, quinacridone violet is another great color uh, that I would highly recommend. And this will be followed by ultramarine violet by Golden. Um, I was kind of going for a sunset color theme slash tropical feel. And I've been wanting to use these colors for a while. So I was glad I was able to use them. And this will be followed by golden manganese blue. Again, a very uh, amazing blue color. Uh, there's my consistency right there. And last but not least, I will be using my all-time favorite golden phthalo turquoise and as i mentioned before all of these colors have satin enamel in them uh, i will have all of them listed down below along with the recipe that tara uses and in order to get the pearls you have to pour a paint over so i decided to use modern masters pale gold 
All metallics do not pearl. Tara has found that Modern Masters works the best. I got this from Hobby Lobby, and this does not have any satin enamel in it. The pour over color is mixed with five parts of 50% Floetrol and 50% GAC 800. So mix that up and use five parts of that pouring medium to one part paint and one part water. And now I am going to lay my uh, satin enamel mixed colored paints on my canvas. I am going in like a... Um, uh, vertical or I mean however you can view it uh, horizontal uh, pattern here and I'm laying them over each other as you notice you don't want to leave a gap when you're laying the colors because then you'll have areas and pockets that won't pearl the other reason why I am pouring over is because I like to get what people call peacock cells that are different colored cells within a cell. Um, so that's why I am pouring the paints over. I feel like I used a lot of paint uh, in this and I could have used less paint, but this is my first time doing this technique on my own. Um, it and it was a great learning experience. I love the colors, and um, but yeah, I wish I used less paint. I will let y'all enjoy the rest of this process, and we will be back, um, or I will be back with the wet results and my pearls. See, see y'all then. the wet results of my pearl cell pour and it turned out really amazing now um, it has been about 30 minutes and the pearls are still uh, forming but overall I'm super pleased it turned out amazing um, I could have probably used white a uh, titanium white as the pour over color as well just for some contrast but overall I'm super happy you see a lot of the peacock pearl cells as well. And I just love this color palette. Um, I will definitely be using it again. Um, but yeah, it turned out super amazing. And next, I will have the dried varnished results. Um, and I'll also be sharing some test pieces that I did. And y'all, I did want to show a test piece real quick that I did. Um, 
I absolutely loved the pearl cells that I got from this. And um, I am actually just puddling the paint um, and trying not to leave any gaps in between. Um, and as you notice, this is a nine by 12 inch canvas. It's a level three gallery wrapped canvas. And I'm basically just using the same colors uh, that I had mixed up. And I just wanted to test it out and see how the gold pour over color will look. Um, and I'm just tilting it around. Again, I feel like I put too much paint on, um, but I'd rather have a lot more paint on there rather than less paint because you can always tilt it off. And here I am just adding some more colors just to kind of get some more peacock cells that are like cells within a cells that are different colors. And I accidentally poured too much of my modern master's pour over paint. But yeah, here I am tilting it around. Don't worry, I saved my drips so I didn't waste any paint. And um, I will be back with the wet results for this little painting. It turned out simply amazing. So stick around guys for the wet results. I cannot wait to share them. And here is a small test piece that I did. I did two of them. This is on a 9 by 12 inch uh, level 3 canvas. And I also did a 12 by 12 which I'll share after this. And then I will be back with my um, dried results of all three paintings. Overall, I am so happy and um, this 9 by 12 turned out amazing. Here is my second test piece on a 12 by 12 inch level 3 gallery wrapped canvas. This one is a lot more red and uh, yellow and orange compared to the 9 by 12. But overall, I'm super happy and um, here are all three paintings together and next I will be back with the varnished results. Here are the dried varnish results of all three paintings. This is the 18 by 24 inch uh, pearl cell painting. I'm super happy with the results. I love the different colored uh, peacock pearl cells that I got. I do wish that I used um, titanium white as one of the pour over colors, but overall I'm super happy. Um, here is another orientation. Let me know in the comment section what orientation you guys love. And again, don't forget to check out Tara's channel, Pieces of Tara Artistry. I will have it listed down below in the description box along with all of the recipes and the colors that I used. And here is my 9 by 12 inch painting. This one is overall my favorite out of all three. Um, I just love how there's just so many different kinds of pearl cells in this little painting. Um, so super happy with this one. And my next one is um, my 12 by 12 inch. It turned out a little bit more orange and red and yellow because I tilted off a lot of the purples and the thalo turquoise and manganese blue. But overall, I am super happy with the results and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Well, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to do more pearl cell pour paintings. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be doing more of this technique. It's just such a fun technique to do. Um, and definitely check out Tara's channel. And also other great uh, Pearl Cell artists are Sarah Taylor and Dwight from Dwight Pours. Um, I'll have their channels linked down below as well. So definitely check those other artists out also. Um, they're just simply amazing. But again, guys, thanks for joining me. Until next time, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome, guys. Have a good one. Bye.